Hello and welcome to the lesson, Latitudes and Longitudes. The position of three cities P, Q and R are 15 degrees north, 20 degrees west, 50 degrees north, 20 degrees west and 50 degrees north, 60 degrees east respectively. A. Find the distance in nautical miles between 1. Cities P and Q to max 2. Cities Q and R along a circle of latitudes to max. B. A plane left city P at 0 to 50 hours and flew to city Q where it stopped for 3 hours then flew on to city R maintaining a ground speed of 900 knots throughout. Calculate 1. The local time at city R when the plane left city P. 3 max. Then 2. The local time to the nearest minute at city R when the plane landed at R. So those are the questions. Let's go to the first part. So given three cities, uh, P, Q and R, we begin by sketching the positions of these uh, cities. Let me sketch the positions of these cities. So we have cities uh, P, Q and R. So you can see that P is the first one. So this is a P. Go to indicate this is P. Then this one is Q and this one is R. So P 15 degrees north. Okay, 15 degrees north. So one put 15 degrees north to be there. That is 15 degrees north. Then 20 degrees west. 20 degrees west. This is the longitude, 20 degrees west. So the first position, this is a position of P. So P is here. Then we have, the other one is 50 degrees north. 50 degrees north. So let me change this one, because I can see 50 degrees north will be above 15 degrees. So I can change this, let me change this one. Bring it downwards a little bit. So let me put it here. That is uh, 15 degrees north. I'm locating P, 20 degrees west. So this is uh, 20 degrees west. So this is a P. Then Q is 50 degrees north. 50 degrees north will be here. This is say this is a 50 degrees north, and uh, 20 degrees west. 20 degrees west. So this is where we should have Q. Q is here. Then R 50 degrees north, 60 degrees east. So 60 degrees east will be. So 50 degrees west, let's see, this is, a f this is um, 60 degrees west. So therefore, R is here. So now you can see the three positions of P, Q, and R. Now it is always good to have a sketch of the diagram so that you can identify whether the places lie on the grid circle or the small circle. Now after identifying that, uh, the next thing that you're going to do is to look at the question that you're given, identify whether that distance is along the small circle or the grid circle. Now, PQ. PQ, you can see this one is distance along a longitude, distance along a meridian. And distance along the meridian is distance along the grid circle. So that is the first thing you identify, that this distance PQ is distance along the meridian, which is distance along the grid circle. The lying P and Q are lying on the same longitude but different uh, latitudes as you can see there. Now how do you get distance along the meridian? Now we shall, and this one you are required to give it in nautical miles, good to note this. So distance will be given by, we have 60, this is the formula, we take 60, multiply by 
the you can see they're lying on different latitudes so times alpha where alpha this is the latitude difference that is the latitude difference so we take uh, 60 multiply by the latitude difference look at um, the latitude of p the latitude of p is a uh, 15 degrees north then q 50 degrees north so look at that eh? 15 degrees north now that is um, the latitude of p and q 50 degrees north 15 degrees both of them are to the north so if both of them are to the north uh, you get the difference to get the latitude difference you just subtract 50 degrees north so you subtract 50 subtract 15 so that is how we work it out you can see both of them are to the north 15 degrees north 50 degrees north so to get the latitude difference you subtract so this will give us 60 multiply by 35 and this is going to give us the answer in nautical miles which is 2100 2100 nautical miles so that is uh, simply how you're supposed to work out the first part now the second part the distance between q and r along a circle of latitude so circle of latitude this is uh, the small circle this is the distance along the small circle q and r so you can look at the position they are lying on the same latitude but different longitudes so how do we get that distance along the circle of latitude or the small circle e nautical miles this is the formula distance is given by 60 multiply by we can see that they are lying on different longitudes so times the longitude difference times the cosine of alpha now in this case alpha is the longitude difference then alpha is the latitude angle this is how you get the distance along the circle of latitude in nautical miles so this would be 60 longitude difference <clears throat> look at q the longitude of q the longitude of q is uh 20 degrees west r 60 degrees east so one is to the east the other one is to the west so to get the difference you add when you find both of them um uh, one lies to the east the one to the west to get the difference long to difference you add so 20 plus 60 so the long to difference will be given by 20 plus 60 degrees then multiply by the cosine of the latitude angle both of them are lying on latitude 50 degrees 50 degrees north so the latitude angle there is 50 degrees so this will give uh, 60 multiply by 80 multiply by the cosine of 50 degrees and this will give when you multiply this one using a calculator 60 times 80 times cosine of just fit this one directly in a calculator this will give 385 85.38 nautical miles so that is how you get the distance in nautical miles along a circle of latitude let's go to the other part <clears throat> a plane left ctp at 0 to 50 hours and flew to q why it stopped for three hours and then flew to r maintaining a ground speed of 900 knots throughout calculate the local time at city r when the plane left uh, p so this plane left p and uh, it is good to note when you are calculating time we use the longitudes we use the long so it is good to have the longitude of p the longitude of p the longitude of p is uh 20 degrees west so 20 degrees west then um at r the, you are supposed to calculate the local time at r the local time at r what is the longitude of r what is the longitude of r 
the longitude of R is 60 degrees, it is here 60 degrees east. 60 degrees east. So the plane left a P at 0 to 50 hours. So what you need to get is the time difference that exists between P and R. Uh, and to get the time difference between these two longitudes, you just look at one is uh, to the west, the other one is to the east. So longitude difference, uh, longitude difference between between the two places is uh, going to be given by longitude difference is uh, 20 degrees plus 60 degrees. So this will give 80 degrees. Then for every degree, there is a time difference. So that is the longitude difference between P and Q. Now we need to get the time difference that is uh, represented by this uh, longitude difference. So and you know very well that for every one degree, there's a difference of four minutes. So what about uh, for 80 degrees? How many minutes will be this? Just need to multiply this and you get this one will be 320 minutes. That is the time difference between these two longitudes, P and, Q, P and R. And this one is, uh, if you convert this one to hours, this will give uh, five hours, five hours and uh, 20 minutes. Five hours. That is the time difference between P and R. So it means one of these places is either ahead or behind of the other, that is P and Q. Either P is ahead or R is ahead or behind by five hours, 20 minutes. Now we need to know which one is ahead of time, which one is uh, behind of time. Places to the east of the prime meridian are always ahead of time. So we have west. Uh, west will be behind of time as compared to the east. So R, since it is uh, more to the east of P, will be ahead of time. So if it will be ahead of time, the local time will be given by when it is uh, 0 to 50 hours at P, at R, it will be 5 hours, 20 minutes ahead. So we just add 5 hours, 20 minutes to get the local time. And when you do this addition, 0 to 50 plus um, 0 5, 20 when you add, uh, this one will give um, 8, 10. This will give 0, 8, 10 hours. So this is the local time at R when the plane left P at 0, 250 hours. So that is how you do it. We're getting the longitude difference. Then that longitude difference represents how many minutes? Uh, 30, 20 minutes, which is equivalent to 5 hours, 20 minutes. Then you add since the east is always ahead of time. Uh, the last one is the local time to the nearest minute at CTR, the local time, nearest minute at CTR, when the plane landed at R. Remember this plane left from P, went to Q, then went to R. And um, we need to get the local time. Already we know that it left... Um, Let's see the local time at CTR. We have already uh, calculated the distance, which is going to help us uh, so much. Yeah, let me see if there is something else that we need here. Uh, when you look at the question here, okay, so plane left at zero two uh, fifty hours. Okay, so we need to get the time taken from P all the way from P to R to get the local time that it arrived at R. Okay? And to do this, we shall take, uh, for example, time taken from P to Q. So from P to Q, we already got this distance. We got this distance, distance of PQ. We got this distance uh, from the first part, which is 2100 nautical miles. So this is a 2100 nautical miles. Then the distance QR, 3085. We got it as 3085.5.
0.38 nautical miles so we need to get the time so time is given by distance over speed so to get the time pq so time is equal to distance over speed so distance pq will be given by so time is equal to distance over speed so to get time taken from p to q we shall take the distance which is 2100 nautical miles divided by the constant speed we're given in part b that these a plane maintain the speed of 900 knots throughout 900 knots so 900 knots throughout so when you divide these distance in nautical miles divided by speed in knots you get the answer in hours so this will give um when you divide these 200 divided by 900 you get two and a third hours two and a third hours now that is a time taken from p to q then what about uh, from q to r from q to r distance time will be given by distance which is 30 85.38 nautical miles divided by the same speed uh, speed used was constant 900 knots when you divide these you get three hours and uh, 26 minutes three hours and 26 minutes now we have now the overall time taken from p to q two and the third hours from q to r which is uh, three hours and 26 minutes you're supposed to get the local time to the nearest uh, the local time to the nearest um, minute at ctr when the plane landed at r so the local time at ctr when the plane left p was 8 10. so that is where we are going to begin 8 10. then from p to q two and the third hours so we add two and the third hours two and the third hours is equivalent to two hours and um, 20 minutes this is a uh, two hours 20 minutes so let me repeat this one again the local time at r we already got uh, the local time at r when the plane left p and we got that one as 8 10. so we're going to use the 8 10 so we're starting from 8 10 now that is the local time at r and then from p to q two and third hours then from um, q to r q to r we have uh, three hours 26 minutes we have that three hours 26 minutes and then there's something else that you need to be very careful here but b that uh, when it flew to city q it stops for three hours three hours so we have to add that on again put that into consideration three hours you add this so when you add this you will get the local time now uh, to the nearest minute that at city r when the plane landed at r so add this one very well you get this one is uh, 56 and this will be 16 this will be 16 so this one will be 16 56 hours so that is how you're supposed to calculate the local time at r when the plane landed at r so that is our supposed question thank you so much